back to another video on Brianna Effect. So today's video is about me learning foreign words that sound funny in English. Well, when translated in English. So you know, some most of the words is just innocent words, but you know, when we go into school and I hear a teacher say stuff like wood and cock, it makes you laugh. Even though I, I'm 24 years, I'm still 24 years of age. As I was saying, I still live like if I'm a teenager, even though I'm 24. I still live like I was 12. Playing in the blasted pool with mommy bathing in the rain. I host as a young people thing. <laughs> so, my gosh, these blasted flies, boy. I hate when flies touch my skin. I just feel disgusted. <laughs> they feel a little legs. Right, so I'll be putting the words, the spellings of the words up on the screen so you know exactly how they spell it in that particular language. I'm trying to locate the blast. Thing. Right, so word number one. Dick, dick. <laughs> this is the word for a small antelope from Africa that's known for its elongated snout. Dick, dick. That, that word, well, you don't know what that word means, what people is, use that word for in Trinidad, even in, not even only in Trinidad, in other countries. Okay, next word, well, sorry. Well, I said, yeah, that's in Africa, so you know which country uses that. So the next word, the Swedish word for chef, is known as cock none other than master cock you know the tv show imagine they look to change the tv show to master cock people will want to know what the hell is that they have on tv until they click on and it's like oh <laughs> imagine you telling your parents you always wanted to be a cock when you grew up a cock that specializes in seafood oh my gosh so let's move on so the next word we have pain in french is bread let us say it's bread you know <laughs> yeah pain is bread mm. oh yeah my back giving me some bread my foot well bread in me yes <laughs> The Swedish word for exit is utfart. Can everyone utfart the building? Come on, utfart my office immediately. That, I, I, mm -mm. I can't get used to saying these words, you see, I, it's in German language. So the word is, well, let me tell you the English translation first. English translation is buttermilk so when you're making I believe some pastas and alfredos some people tend to use dick milch <laughs> dick milch you see yes buttermilk is dick milch in German but I would have never I would have never said that imagine you come up and somebody say I'm sure you have any dick milch in your fridge I could do it some dick milk on top of this pancake, you know. Dick milk. So, in Sweden again, yes, yeah, we are in Sweden. The word puss means kiss. The puss of death. <laughs> I wish I could get a last puss. Give my puss now. If you tell a woman that in Trinidad they will cuss you, give my puss. Hey, that puss. He could roll puss, boy. He's a good pusser. Next word we have is a word that simply means good in Sweden. Spra. That soup tastes bra, mommy. Bra? Bra? Did I find out? Bra? I 
And then, you know what? Ironic, the next word, the English translation is urine, which is pee. And the Sweden word, Swedish word, oh my God, is kiss. So when kiss means puss, pee means kiss. So if you say give me a kiss, it's give me a pee. And if you say give me a puss, it's give me a kiss. I'm going to take a piss there. Eh? Say a warning. Because piss, you and me kiss. Okay. So I hope you guys found this video was very bra and you guys think I should get a puss please leave a like <laughs> comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know every time I post today I wasn't feeling too happy or you know any mood to smile for a camera but as soon as I press record actually started to get happy because i remember i have much more subscribers than when i started which is like maybe two three months ago about three months four months uh, yeah i think it was the end of july so thanks for putting a smile on my face i had to do over my lashes i see what this side patchy and this side well it bent up i wonder what is the swedish word for bent up i can't remember when last i put somebody you know like, I haven't had a puss in so long. Being single, you don't really get puss. You're not going to just puss any and everybody, you had, you know? Yeah, pussing. When you was younger, you just be pussing in the back of the school. Puss, puss. When you're young, you puss in your pillow. But as a 24-year-old, you don't really want to puss any and everybody. COVID right now? Mm-mm. Mm-mm.